the uh, iPad. I'm gonna give y'all a moment to step into the room. Thank you so much. Give y'all a moment to step into the room. I'm gonna say what I gotta say and I'm gonna get out of here because somebody is coming with my food. So let's see if y'all gonna hop in the bitch. Let's see if y'all gonna hop in this bitch. Let's see. Are we coming? Are we coming in this bitch? What's going on? What's up, y'all? It's our turn, baby. Get up, boots. Hey, so I'm on vacay. Okay, I'm on vacation and I did not want to do full videos. I'm not in the mode for that. I'm actually watching Black Ink Crew right now. It's on commercial break and I don't feel like recording a video or even taking notes for this foolishness. But I keep seeing this bonnet situation all on social media and I wanted to come and talk to you guys about it. Okay, so Monique said that she wanted the young sisters to have respect for themselves and not go out into the public with bonnets on. And here's my thing. I don't completely disagree with her. I'm going to tell you why. Because some of y'all might be like, Bondi, I am so surprised that you are you telling the girls not to be comfortable out in the streets. That's exactly what I'm telling the girls. You don't wear pajamas out in the street, right? You don't wear face mask out in the street, right? You shouldn't wear your slippers, your, your house slippers, out in the street. Slides are different. House slippers are something different, okay? I feel like it's all about you and how you feel about yourself. Now, I do feel like when the girls are trying to preserve the hair, you put a satin bonnet and then you put another like little hat or something mm -hmm. or like a, a bag, you know, like a, a, a what you call them. You put something else on top oh, of that. It. That's not, you know, or you wear the type of, of bonnet that ties and, and gives like a, a more of a scarf because I i don't mind scarves. I'm, I don't mind scarves because I feel like people sometimes wear scarves fashionably on their heads. So that's not a big deal. But I do feel like the way bonnets are designed, they are designed for you to wear when you are in your house and nobody can really see you. Okay. Um. So I just personally feel like I'm not about to go out nowhere looking like that. And a lot of the girls who do do that drag their feet when they walk and they do look raggedy when they wear bonnets. I don't see a lot of put together women just out here with bonnets on their heads like that. Like, I just don't see that. You ain't dressed to the teeth. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? And, and my and my my grandmother taught my mom who taught me that you don't let your man see you know any kind of way, let alone people in public see you know any kind of way. So I feel like, you know, it's everybody's choice what they want to do, and I don't judge people for whatever they want to do, but I feel like it looks unkept to be out in the streets with clothes or headdress on that is probably just for you to be at your house with um and that that goes clothes and all of that okay i don't wear pajamas out in the streets no matter how cute my pajamas are okay okay and listen like i said if you you know i think there is <laughs> I'm not judging anybody that's out here, you know, oh, had to put, wrap my hair up. I see in the comments, I'm not judging you, love. But I do feel like there's a way to do that that doesn't look like, you know, sleepwear the way sometimes it looks. Like, I be, I be feeling like I see girls who be out here buying it on, pajama pants, house slippers, and dragging her feet through the mall like she ain't got nowhere to be. And, and that might be cute for y'all, but that's not cute for me. Um, I'm just saying, like, I just feel like there are so many ways to wear your hair. Like, if I had a bonnet on, I would put a scarf over the bonnet. That's what I would do. I'm not you. Um, you not me. But you know, I would have bonnet and then put a cute scarf on over it and tie the scarf. Because like I said, people wear scarves even, you know, even if their hair is or isn't done, it, it, it can be worn fashionably. It's not the same thing as your bonnet that's like hanging to the side and shit. Like, 
But if that's how you want to go out in these streets, go ahead and do you, good sis. I'm not upset about it. <laughs> I'm not bothered by what nobody decides to do with their life. I just kind of be looking sometimes like, oh, all right. I mean, that's not what my mom taught me. But, you know, <laughs> live your best life, bitch, okay? Do it like it's your be day, baby. <laughs> I ain't worried about what nobody do like that. And especially not enough to get on the internet and make a stance about it. You know, like, it's not that deep. But I can understand why somebody would feel like, you know, they wouldn't want sisters out here in the streets caught slipping. Because back in the day, nobody would want to be caught out here in these streets slipping. And you never know who see you in the mall or who see you out in the streets or whatever. And there are some people who don't care about that. And that's absolutely perfectly fine. Um, you know, me, myself, personally, I don't really be giving a fuck, but I, I feel like I'm one of them people, I don't, I don't have to try hard, so it don't really matter. Like, <laughs> so, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't have any hair. What am I, you know, what do, what do, I don't have any hair. As long as my hair is moisturized, usually, that's all that matters. I don't have any coal in my eye. I brush my teeth. Okay, I have something on my mouth. Okay, like, what? what? I moisturize, bitch. Okay, I have earrings. I don't even have the earrings in all the time. So, yeah, y'all, you know, just preference, just preference, you know. Um, I can use your door dasher on my way. Thanks for using. Okay, do it like it might be day, baby. Y'all, you literally get everything delivered to your hotel room. There's nothing to do with your hotel. The hotel might as well not do anything. For what? You have to get everything door dashed. Okay. It's, it's over you at this point. All right, super sugar, you come bring me three packets? Okay, fuck you. I don't disagree entirely either, but I feel like if Kylie Jenner started rocking bonnets, then it would be trendy. Oh, wow. Honestly, I would be looking at her like... I mean, that's true, though. You trying way too hard to be black. Like, <laughs> that would be my... That would, what, what, are you, what are you preserving, Kylie? What? What are you preserving? Okay. Thank you. But that's why I, I don't have hair because I don't have time to be worrying about my hair. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. So how is it okay to wear a bathrobe on a public video? That's housewear. What do you mean on a public video? What does that mean? Like I'm not actually in the street though. I think that's different. I don't. I mean that's that's like saying you know right. why would you show me how you get up in the morning like. You know, like, or why would, if I'm at home, I'm at home. It doesn't matter if I'm online. That's not the same thing as being out in the world. Like, I'll be online with no bra on. Sometimes you can't tell. I have one on right now. But I'm just saying, sometimes you can't tell. You can't see. Sometimes you can't. Sometimes I don't give a fuck. But either way, like, if I'm in my house, that to me is not the same thing as me being out in the streets or in the world. That's different. And I don't care what nobody say. It is. Cause it feel different. <laughs> it feel. It, I feel. I feel safe. Okay. You can't touch me online, bitch. I personally think we need to start worrying about. Oh yeah, no. See, this is not my 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 feeling is not coming from what no white people think. I can give a fuck what white people think. I don't give a fuck about that. Um, if a white lady was walking around looking a mess, then that white lady would be looking a mess. And some of y'all who wear y'all bonnets be looking a mess. And that's just what it is. We out here in these streets and you looking like a mess. And your white girl ain't had no bonnet on her head, but her head was all over her fucking head. Guess what she would look like? A motherfucking mess. Okay, this is not about that. To me, this is about just the way, you know, you carry yourself out in public. Some of y'all don't have any decorum about yourselves because nobody taught you to. And that's unfortunate and that's fine. And you can do whatever the fuck you want to do if you don't feel no ways about it. But I also feel like people are entitled to have an opinion or look at you like, oh, she don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to say that to you. But I still, you know, if I see it, I told y'all one of the main things we did when we got off the flight yesterday was oh before we got on our flight was watching people traveling and some of you hoes do not know how to dress when y'all travel y'all think that y'all at home or that y'all you know at the house and you got on spandex and see-through and in big ass slippers walking through the airport the nasty airport oh, okay okay you might have another bag to come back okay so it is just very, it's very, un I know it was a big ass thing in sugar. I was like, we definitely not going to, you know, but that was the only thing I saw. 
Um, but yeah, yeah, y'all. I don't know why. Um, I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, no, I didn't mean to get nothing that big. Though. I just that was the only thing that was available. They didn't have nothing smaller than that. Um, <laughs> I live in Florida. It's tragic how many women and girls wear bonnets outdoor. It looks okay. Yeah, when I was out, my nose was running and stuff. Uh, if I just put my hair in a bonnet and have to go out, guess what? Guess what? You that bonnet's bugs. coming off. <laughs> how do you feel about you having bugs. rollers? Uh, and yeah, I don't. That no, not doing that neither. Yeah, yeah, I got some little travel. Is that lotion? It says deep moisturizing body wash. Oh, I'm about to say, it's supposed to be body wash. Yeah, no, because they soap is nice and everything, but I like moisturizing body wash. And, and I ain't want to get no big old things. So all I got, you got though? That's all you got? Uh, yeah, and chips and stuff. Yeah. yeah. And water. But yeah, y'all. Um, yeah, Sorry, it's impromptu video. <laughs> it's impromptu video, y'all. Um... But I just feel like I'm not judging anybody, but I just, I know how I feel when I see people. Thank you for that uh, happy belated birthday. And thank you for the super chat. I'm on my phone, so y'all know I can't really see things the way I would if I was on my computer. But yeah, um, I actually did a haul on my other channel, so y'all should check that out. We went to Urban Outfitters in Old Navy and bought some more clothes for this, this California weather. But y'all shouldn't, like, judge people for what they wear. I'm going to say that. Like, I don't feel no type of way about it. But honestly, when I see you and you look a mess, you just, you know, you look a mess. Them girls that got off the airport flight with their asses out, like, y'all know, you know, you you falling all on the outside. You on the outside of your shirt. You on the top of the shirt, the bottom of the pants, bitch. You falling out all over the place. If you don't have a problem with all your shit falling out all over the place, then go ahead and do you, good sis. That don't bother me. It don't hurt my feelings. It, I, it hurt my eyes a little bit, but I divert my eyes and move them away from you. But I certainly saw you clock that you look a mess and was like, mm, okay, if that's how you want to look. <laughs> if that's how you want to look. And it's not even just about bonnets. They had a girl that got off the plane. I wish she had a bonnet on. Her fucking hair looked so messed up. I said, bitch, did you get fucked on this plane? What happened? Um, you know, I believe in traveling cute. Like, I believe in traveling cute and comfortable. You ain't got to do all that. You do not have to do all of that. But I believe in traveling cute, bitch. You never know who you're going to see at the airport. You never know who you're going to run into at the airport. And y'all be out here just, you know, looking any old kind of way down to the airport. And also, you know, just how y'all dress in general sometimes. Just because they make it in your size. Um, but you know. Do it like it's your B day. <laughs> it's just how I feel about it. Wear well, it, bitch. But if you look unkept, you look unkept. Don't be mad that people say you look unkept. Don't be mad that Monique said, bitch, you look unkept. A lot of y'all was upset. And somebody was like, why is everybody so bothered by black women being comfortable out in the world? And I'm just like, oh, bitch, you, you comfortable with your bonnet? Is that what this is about? Is the bonnet about comfortability? I thought it was about preserving your sexy. For wherever the fuck you was going where your hair deserved to be preserved for. It be different when people be going to events. But some of y'all really just don't want to do y'all hair. Y'all don't want to try to look decent. So you just throw your bonnet on. And you go out into the streets. And then you have on pajama pants and slippers. And some of y'all I just do. I really want y'all to get y'allselves together before y'all walk out the door. I wouldn't walk out the door looking no any kind of way. That's me though. You know what I'm saying? And that's fine. Because I know somebody, bitch, that's you. That's you, bitch. I want to walk outside looking like I'm about to get in the bed. You know? And I'm like, okay, sis, live you. You know, live your life. But that's not what my mama told me. That's all. <laughs> that's all. Or, you know, you assume that they, they, they mattress on the floor. That's what you assume. You assume that they mattress on the floor. They don't have no no box spring. <laughs> Bitch ain't got no box spring or no bed frame with that type of attire on at the mall. <laughs> Y'all should have seen some of the hoes at the airport. I'm not rude enough to record people, but some of them people at the airport, boy. Oh, Lord, I just, and Lyric, it's so funny because Lyric will see this shit sometimes and he'll look at me like with this look of like, whoo, and I just be like, 
And I don't, you know, another thing that I don't do, I don't attach, I don't attach that shit to no blackness neither. Cause I feel like they be some cheesy fucking white people at the airport too. <laughs> but I, I, I don't be checking for y'all cause y'all ain't me and I'm not y'all. So I don't be caring about what y'all doing because you know, I in general be like, oh, white people, you know what I'm saying? Y'all everywhere. Nobody care about y'all. I be paying attention to black people because y'all me. So I be, you know, when I see black people be like, oh, black people. And then you be like, mm, black people. Um, but it's the... <laughs> Trust me, out here, every time we saw somebody, like, oh, black people. You know, I love it. Hey, black people, I love us. I love us for real. But just like every other nationality, they got some cheesy, funky people that just don't care how they look. Take take two of them things out there for me. But as black people, we only be checking for our people. So, of course, we don't really notice white people as much as we notice our own people. Because, I know, you know, y'all be blending in after a while. Y'all everywhere and all over the place. Y'all be blending in. And most of y'all wear the same shit. So it's not like, you know what I'm saying, the age range of white people, y'all wear the same shit. So there's no real reason for us to be paying attention to the millions of baseball caps <laughs> that all of the white and Asian men will have on as they travel throughout the airport in the world. I'm just saying. You know, all the cargo shorts and polo shirts. <sighs> All of the teenage white girls with long hair and tank tops and, and sweatpants on and shit. Like, everybody's wearing the same shit. What am I paying attention for? Come on. Black people, on the other hand, child, you... And every once in a while, you'll see, like, a fly Asian out there somewhere. You know what I'm saying? On, on some drip. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what you see a lot of. But... Come to drip. Drip, drip. You know, but yeah, y'all, uh, uh, the girls with the bonnets, yeah, y'all, y'all should stop. Y'all should stop. Y'all should put something over the bonnet if y'all gonna wear the bonnet. Like, what's something that's for outside over the bonnet? Okay, get you one of them, uh, one of them slaps. You know, things you the the the, the, the bonnets that you know that you could wear because it looked like a um. What's it called? Yeah, like a turban. Yeah, like a turban or whatever. It's not a turban, but it look, you know, but it's for outside. You know what I'm saying? Get you a head wrap, okay? To put over the satin binding. Because I don't see nothing wrong with wrapping your hair. I don't see nothing wrong with head scarves. Okay? People wear scarves all up in the, you know, the white days with a scarf and they go to the beach because they don't want their hair flying all over the place. Oh, bitch, we about to get in this car with this convertible. Let's put this scarf on. Scal uh Fam and Louise, bitch. Okay? Like, people wear their scarves. But your bonnet, bitch, something, either your bonnet needs to look for outside or outside needs to put be put over the bonnet. Or the bonnet needs to come off and you need to let the hairstyle be what it is. Um, and that's if you care about how you look. That's all. That's all. If you don't really care, do you, sis. I don't care. <laughs> I ain't about to fight you about it. It don't matter to me that much. Do you? But, you know, people always want to make their public service announcements and piss everybody off because their feelings be hurt. Because they know when they out in the street, they be looking a little raggedy. And they know they be feeling a way. But they feel fine about it because nobody says anything. And as soon as somebody get online and say, y'all hoes out here with them bonnets, y'all look raggedy and everybody won't get in their feelings. Well, guess what? If you don't give a fuck, then why are you upset? Questions. All right, y'all. Let's say bye. <laughs>